Good morning. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm pumped today. All right, um, it's the springtime. It's nice out. The kids are putting their shoes on so we can go out for a morning walk. We have a short school day today. Um, I have some things to do to prepare for school and some work to do. And y'all, I'm excited. I think a celebration is in order. I am so happy I could cry. A thousand subscribers on our channel. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all about it. We're getting ready for our walk and she says it's too cold outside. It's too cold. You guys, we like legit had a partial tornado the other day. So since then, it's Yesterday. been very, very windy. Um, very windy and very windy and very cold. But that's okay, because it's not snowing and it's not raining, so we're happy. Right, Vanna? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, this is good for rain. This is the type of stuff my son wants to get. This big old stick right here. To 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube and I'm pumped. I am really excited because yeah, I, I guess myself I would have wanted it to happen a long time ago and I would love to be at 100,000, 10,000, 100,000 um, and even more. But the reality is I just want to be faithful with what I've been given. So the almost up to a thousand of you that are watching, I want to be faithful with you guys. Just, um, just talking and chatting and sharing, and um, yeah, just kind of sort of doing life together because that's the really cool thing about cameras and the fact that I can share in this way. I'm a different person now than I was when I started posting videos here on YouTube. So I don't know. Um, I was in church on Sunday and. Part of the message that really stood out to me was the parable of the talents and how um, there were three servants that were given a specific amount of talents um, according to their abilities. And the one who got five talents um, doubled his and came back with five more. The one with two doubled his and um, came back with two more. And the one who was given one talent hid his and um, and he ended up being called lazy and evil and um, he was afraid. Um, in my mind, he was afraid. Well, actually it says that he was afraid. 
he was afraid of not having enough when the master came back so anyway um the moral of that story basically is that if you are faithful with the little then you will um, be given more responsibilities or you can be trusted or um, with more and I guess for me with these YouTube videos and things um, I think that me hitting the thousand subscribers is not the same as other people hitting a thousand subscribers. For me, um, I've seen these last four years of just being faithful and staying true to um, the journey that God has had us on um, and not being led by YouTube standards or um, any other social norms or standards when it comes to success in this world and so in the story after um the master saw that the five the five talents and the two talents were doubled he was he said they were good and faithful servants and that now they could go and celebrate i'm currently taking a break over on my homeschool or our main channel just to really you know figure out and what does god have for us and i just really felt led to this channel so um as of right now my focus is going to be on just picking up this camera and sharing and so i'm excited about that and i'm starting off with my thousand subscribers <laughs> so i'm so grateful to you guys that have been here like from the beginning <laughs> the couple of you that have been watching for like ever as I get my life together um, but I'm excited I'm excited about sharing more and just sharing basic things in our day um, I really want to get better I want to get better at filming I want to get better at storytelling there's so many things that I want to learn and do and I actually have like created a whole course system um, to go along with what the kids are doing in their school because we're kind of forever learning together but I'm really excited about it I don't know what my main channel is going to become but um, I think that taking a break from it and um, which by the way can be really bad in YouTube standards but I am not living by YouTube standards yes baby yes uh, look at this why don't you like it because I want to do it like cool it's not a well, you just started. Oh. What's the matter? While the boys are putting together the T-Rex the model, she is drawing and starting a new story. But it looks so good and you just have to keep going. I don't like it. Well, Savannah, how will you ever see what it becomes if you don't keep going? Oh. Okay. Give it a try. Oh, I got the hiccups. Give it a try. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> I think she gets intimidated because her brothers draw um, so well. But anyway, she just has to keep going. The short of it is, I'm really excited. I'm excited to give this channel some attention and just for you guys to follow along. I'm gonna try my best not to be too fancy here with my filming. My goal is just to document things. <laughs> document Serena. And um, I can really just focus on um, learning about the art of storytelling and getting better with my camera behind the scenes. And then um, when I'm ready or when the Lord says that it's time for me to start posting on my main channel again, if he does, then I'll do that. But for right now, I feel like I'm supposed to be here in this space, so I'm excited. Reading the story, the parable of um, the talents, in another version of the scripture, it speaks specifically to... Um, to not taking risk and so for me stopping uh, doing videos the way I was doing them on my other channel and listening for you know something new and different is a huge risk creatively and in life because you just feel like life is supposed to be lived a certain way you know that's the social norm you go off you get some type of education then you move along and you get a job and you go to work every day and you come back you maybe go on a vacation and um, not that anything is super wrong with it well something is kind of I'm learning to be wrong with that is that you need to be open Open to taking risk and risking it all and trusting him to give things back to you so that is what I'm looking to do um, in the book 
by Max Licato Fearless. Uh, there is a section where he talks about um, safety becoming your God, like when you worship the risk-free life. And I don't want that. And I'm seeing now that that doing things that are risk-free and um, and being comfortable in your safety net is not a good thing and not the way that I'm supposed to live. And so I wanna practice living outside of that comfort zone, even if it seems ridiculous and crazy and weird and not socially normal in our everyday lives to talk to a camera or um, imagine our family out and about and doing something different other than just simply having a job and coming home from work and making dinner and those types of things. Let me see. <gasps> oh, girl! You, can I show them? Chewix. Come sit. It's called the baby T-Rex. It's called what? The baby T-Rex. Oh, girl! Now look! That looks so good! I How are you the, liking it now? Good. I put the girl on top of it. That's really cute. And there's a girl down here. Now, do you want to do something? And that's a ball because I was going to make it somebody's head, but it was too dark. It needs to be like a bit lighter. Oh, so that you can see the face? Yeah. Okay. So it's a ball now. Okay. Also, do you want to try and fill in this empty space? You could use pattern. You could put trees. You could put a river or rocks or something like river, that. The Girl. Rock. Look at her face. <laughs> Let me see it. Get it. Oh, you better go, girl. Go ahead. Let's go finish. Bun life. <laughs> so whenever we do our hair in buns, we always say together. Ready? Three, two, one. Bun, bun life. life. <laughs> so this time she has pig buns. Piggy buns. Pig, pig bun. bun life. Pig bun life. <laughs> Y'all, she is so funny and I don't want to miss any of it. So we finished the dinosaur and it looks so good. Brian picked up a lawnmower. Here hmm. you go, Mama. That looks really nice. Now that we brought that in, um, I have some work that I need to finish up from um, for my dad. I am designing some new logos for his business and things like that. So Brian took the kids to um, go and pick up some fruits and vegetables. That'll give me a good like 45 minutes to um, accomplish a little bit with my dad's project. So that's what I'm about to do now. Okay, so I feel like I spent forever <laughs> getting that work done. But Brian went out with the kids to um, pick up fruits and vegetables and things. They have been doing that so much. And Brian and I keep talking about it because I want to do that. I want to go out to the grocery store and cook the dinners and things like that. But it just hasn't been that way lately because I've just had so much to do. But, um, but I'm just trying to find more ways to make that transition back into um, mom and housewife and do those types of things. Um, we're trying, but it's hard. I have to discipline myself in my work so that I'm not, um, I'm working smarter, not harder, so. So my daughter is in first grade. She's gonna go to school while her, um, her best friend is at her cousin. Her best friend, wait a minute. Why her best friend is at her cousin's house. Where she goes to school, uh, she, <laughs> <laughs> but before, so before she goes to school, um, um, her, her um, best friend is gonna um, um, leave um, her cousin, Savannah, her best friend's cousin's house. Do so you that, have a best friend? Well, yeah. What's your best friend's name again? Uh, do you guys do you talk on the phone? Yeah, but it's more fun seeing him person. Oh, it's more fun? See, I get that. I get yeah, that. Yeah, because I, I get to play with him. Right. We can play doctor. Right. So we'll make that happen more, okay? So, yeah, yeah. So after they're done with school, they're going to go to um, the swimming place. Savannah, what is She's going to go to the swimming place with her bestie. I need to get back to doing homeschool things now. 
so I'm still in transition trying to find what we're going to be using for resources and things a lot of those things this year are going to be electronic so I'm trying to I'm currently trying to clean off their iPads and get all of their stuff set up correctly oh my gosh I get you guys I didn't tell you about Savannah's promotion are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna tell us about your promotion so all last week she was telling us that she had a promotion either her or her sister were gonna get the promotion and today she let me know that she got a promotion are you excited <laughs> you worked at the movies oh so are you enjoying working at the well, restaurant the are you the manager well next, well the movies is actually my job too well i do the movies after first because i so you work at fresh mart you work at Fresh Mart at the movies and at Fall Pool Kids? Yeah, what about that? My boss told me, she gave me, my, bo my, my boss told me, um, he gave me this watch so I could see um, what, um, what time I have to leave to the movies or Fresh Mart and Fresh Mart. Wow, you, you work a lot. I do. When I had my old job, I had to go to um, interviews and and funerals, but now I work in a flesh more. Wait a minute, your old job was working at funerals? Oh, so you so you really enjoy working at the Fresh Mart now? Yeah. So the dad, he's on vacation at Florida. Ain't no Let me go get something done. Her besties. I'm gonna go play with this one. Her besties, um, 